Friday afternoon and we're in the middle of Dormoor. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we've just uh, put, parked up a little bit and uh, we're just waiting for our mates to turn up and uh, then we're going to head up to um, our park up and uh, that's going to be over in that direction towards Princeton. <laughs> You're me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's all pretty good. So um, there's ponies wandering around in the road, look, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So, So we've ended up at North Hessery uh, Television Mast. I think, uh, yeah, Communications Mast, Television Mast, um, something like that. But um, literally, I'm just going to stand upon these rocks. Oh my goodness me, it's loose. Um, but have a check out of this uh, this tower. And we were just talking how if something needed replacing up there, are you going to get up there and replace it? Because we've decided uh, we're not <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but the views from this place, right down towards Plymouth, right down towards Plymouth in the distance. So the other thing was going to, uh, I was just saying to uh, Clive with me the other day, and uh, so I do know that this thing is like mounted on like a ball bearing at the bottom, so it does like move in the wind and, and the conditions up here. But um, we're just looking at the, uh, the tension wires um, holding these cables that, uh, and the size of them, are just incredibly big. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty nice.
So I've just stood up on this um, triangular, or no, it's a square shape. It's not a tri it looks like a tri sort of like, tri is it triangular? No, no, it's a triangulation station. That's where I'm getting a bit misled. But, um, oh, they're taking photos of me up on. So I'm on the top of this, um, and now I'm just checking out the epic views. 360 panoramic views. We were just looking, so over that direction, you got Plymouth um, over that way, and then round this way, um, we were just looking through. You can see, well, you can't really see Tavistock, it's just down over that, that way. And then um, in the distance, we can see the uh, big chunk of land missing from Merry Vale Quarry. And uh, right in the distance, um, I'll just see if I can zoom it again and uh, get the. Um, Brintle Church, right in the very distance there. It's the, uh, the direction we came across from that direction today to uh, enter Prince Town, which is down below with the prison. And uh, now I think we're heading back down <laughs> over this hill. We've just walked up uh, over here from Prince Town, which is probably about 15, 20 minutes. But um, it is so, it's so quiet up here. Come on. Oh, until a certain one started shouting. <laughs> Not a bad place to be on a Saturday afternoon. Total tranquility. It's really like peaty soil up here. You can see that peat. Very dark, black almost. So meanwhile, on the adventures, <laughs> we ended up coming up this little path, which we thought was a public footpath, uh, but we got up to the end and there's uh, no admittance by order of the prison governor. So um, we've come all the way along this track. So uh, we've, we're having to uh, hightail it back, which is a little bit of a shame, but um, it's all good fun. But uh, yeah, and there's the television mast up there in the distance that you can see. So what I'm thinking about doing is going to see whether there's anybody home. So, where we're actually to is uh, there. So let's see if we can get a closer look. Look at these gates. I think I've uh, seen some old pictures on the, um, the internet of this gate. And this was uh, for the prisoners of Na Napoleonic Wars back in the day. Because the actual um, front is all covered over with this sheet and stuff. But we'll have a little walk down right to the gate yeah they're doing some like maintenance here by the looks of it which is a big shame because you're just not getting the ambience but we'll get down and have a little look through oh my god what's on oh no that's what it looks like in Dartmoor prison I'm just having a quick tear around. Let's have a look at this. Um, so this is St. Michael and All Angels Church at Princetown. And they reckon it's a little bit sort of, I can't remember what they said now. I was trying to explain to Clive what they meant. It's pretty remote up here. Um, so they reckon this is one of the most remotest churches on Dartmoor. And it does look a bit remote up here. is uh, looking out across the moorland so that just gives it that kind of drama it is pretty dramatic to say the least with a graveyard and it's just like strolling across this ground is just like the moorland ground that we've been on this afternoon so there we go
the old photos they got in the Prince of Wales. We're actually in the Prince of Wales in Princetown. So uh, this is the old pictures of the prison gate where we were earlier on. And uh, I can see the Duchy Hotel with some old pictures here. Looks like they got an old pony market kind of picture as well. And, uh, winter photos by the look of it. Looks like they got the old digger along by the shops in Princetown. Let's have a little look. Oh, we've got a railway station. Princetown railway station up there. What else? Oh, there's the old station platform. Princetown. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. Some old school pictures. A picture of now King Charles. So this is where we ended up last night, at the Rambler's Arrest in Princetown. And uh, it's now Sunday morning. <laughs> Christ, did that come around pretty quick. Um... Yeah, so this is uh, quarter past nine on a Sunday morning in Princetown. <laughs> it's uh, pretty grim. <laughs> pretty grim. Nah, it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's gone pretty, it's mild up, gone a bit mild now, so uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit drizzly. Um, we've got hangovers. <laughs> Bloody, yeah, we, so we were drinking a bit last night. So we ended up, um, uh, yeah, where did we go last night? So we ended up uh, walking up over um, to the television mast up at um, North Hessery. North Hessery, South Hessery, oh bloody hell, I've got to look at a map of my, but um, anyway, that was Sunday morning. But uh, the, yeah, then we sort of came down and looked at the prison and um, uh, our mates wanted to uh, see the prison gate, so we went up there and then we sort of like walked back down through the village and then uh, then it was kind of like, um, it was getting on. So, um, oh, we walked in the pub, we saw like, we'll have a drink in the pub. We'll have a quick drink. So anyway, they were, they were like saying they're pretty booked up for tables because it was like Burns night. And uh, anyway, we we're kind of like, hey, can we eat now then? So we needed something to eat, you know? So it was, um, uh, at the moment, there's literally one pub um, at the moment, it's open in Princetown. The uh, Plume of Feathers, which is over there, is shut down. Um, that was the other pub that, where we were staying last night, it used to be the Devil's Elbow. That's now the um, place where we were trying uh, stay in so it's like a bunk house and uh, guest house and uh, so that was that right we're gonna eat in the Prince of Wales and it was um, spot on yeah absolutely couldn't couldn't fault it last night it was like brilliant food and uh, it was um, when we started to uh, well we we left probably about like seven o'clock I think in the end 
So uh, we had a few pints of jail ale and uh, it was, yeah, all very nice. We were loving it. Um, so then we came out to the Mohos. We were going to come back down later just for drinks, but uh, we ended up um, crashing out in my motorhome and uh, um, having drinks there. And that was it. It was like one o'clock in the morning before we knew it. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to the plume of feathers now. It's all looking pretty redundant now, but uh, we, um, I know this area pretty well, very well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, we used to uh, frequent this pub a few years ago. A few years ago. Yeah, probably like um, 45 years, some of that. But um, yeah, it's all looking a bit, uh, a bit redundant. So it's such a shame. Yeah, so it's a little bit drizzly this morning, so I'm just taking a little bit of shelter in the uh, little porch here of the Plume of Feathers, just looking across the road at the, uh, well now it's the um, National Park Visitor Centre, and um, there used to be, it's seen a lot of life, that building. Um, I think we, when I sort of knew it, it was like the prison officer's kind of like mess place or something like that. But um, as you can see on the side, it says like Dutchie Hotel. So back in the day, it was, um, bit of a hotel at one stage but uh, National Park Visitor Centre at the moment this uh, sign here now might be a little bit dated um, which is a absolute crying shame look at that whether it's ever going to get re uh, remodernized you can see on the road sign the uh, National Park Visitor Centre I've just um, skipped over the gate and just come into the back i just want to have a look i've never been in here before i'm just going to uh, i'm sure they won't mind me uh, taking a little bit of video and uh, having a little look trying to get the ambience of this place this is typical of princetown <laughs> misty weather damp foggy quick look and uh, looks like this is um the the Jack Wigmore Garden, which I've, I've just, just sort of reading on this board, um, and it looks like he was in the National Park Authority, just a bit of a memorial. And um, so it sort of uh, it just shows you a little bit of information, what it's all about. It's quite interesting, I'm finding it quite uh, quite interesting this morning. I'm, I've just seen that cross, I've just moved back, and it looks like the um, Ter Ter Hill Cross. Um, the cross was discovered on the 19th Lion on Tear Hill, about four miles from Princetown with the lower half of the shaft missing. It was repaired and set up in the Moreland context. Oh yeah, right. Probably because it was being used as a rubbing post for cattle. That's pretty interesting. Let's have a look. So they, oh, it looked like it had cracked in half and repaired. So let's go and have a look. I can see it over here. That's a nice story. Let's have a little look. There she is, like. Wow. Yeah, there's a little bit more information on this little um, plaque here. Terre Hill Cross, like the Latin style granite cross originally stood Terre Hill. Wow. And it uh, crosses marking the ancient monk's path linking Buckfast Abbey to Tavistock and Buckland Abbey. Wow. That's some story. Now it's lying here up here. Princeton. Pretty interesting stuff around here. I'm just looking at this one as well. I just like wonder what this was all about. And I just have to uh, let's get down here. Medieval cornstone used for grinding grains. Wow. There you go.
just having a little wander around and reading some of these little plaques. This is about the uh, mini bog garden. Blanket bogs for a, in, uh, international importance for the home of remarkable wildlife whilst supplying essential services everyday lives. Including a steady flow of clean water and our rivers. They grow on the highest, wettest areas of Dartmoor. Wow. Just looking at um, just I'm just loving some of the uh, this real nice colours this morning. Sunday morning, a damp Prince Town. Just enjoying some of these like natural colours and the rock, the granite, proper moody kind of mood this morning without a doubt. board here. This is the conservation garden we're in. Showing the wildlife and the uh, insects and bird life. And uh, just so peaceful. Well, I'm liking this one as well. The Thornworthy Clist. Prehistoric burial chest. Look at this. So there's the box. There's the chest. Um, originally, it would have contained either body or cremated remains of a high status individual. Let's have a look. They've actually got it here. The box. The chest. Like a tomb. And there's the kind of lid. And here's the, uh, the granite chest wow and so it's just trying to there's the kind of like lid uh, just coming around the top it just slid away over that way and there's actually the uh, the actual box we're actually looking right inside the box of this uh, burial chamber my goodness me that's some serious uh, history there It. There's a little sort of like granite steps opening in the wall, so I've just come through and it's like taking me back out behind the Duchy Hotel Visitor Centre. So, uh, right, I better get back. Caroline's going to be wondering whether she was making me a coffee about an hour ago, <laughs> so, uh, but we're just having a general little, uh, little look around. And uh, yeah, so I've just sort of come out of that little um, place around the back of there. And then I'm, I'm up to the uh, side of the building, Dutchy Hotel, you can see it on the side of the building. Wow, this, this place is just like seeing so much history. I'm just sort of trying to imagine the history. Visits from our now sort of like present king. There was like pictures of the Prince of Wales on the wall of the pub last night and you think well now he's now the the new king and uh, he uh, spent a lot of uh, made many visits up to this place right I better uh, get back unless anything else distracts me <laughs> So, yeah, I don't think we've even got to the, uh, the fact that this is where we stayed and um, these guys actually, um, we paid these guys a, t a tenner for um, parking up where we did last night and uh, it was superb. So um, he was saying to me um, yesterday, the guy from the uh, Rambler's Arrest, uh, that it might be, um, he might be sort of like putting the price up in the uh, season a little bit um, when, when the season kicks in to about £15, which is still an absolute bargain really to us uh, you know this is um a great place to visit there's some great walks up here and they're um they're doing their best to kind of like uh, bring this place up back up to um um a, 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 re a, a good guest house and uh, so it's good to uh, support these guys trying to uh, keep the um the place together so if you're up if you want a, a remote isolated camping park <laughs> that's um totally secure and uh these guys come and see these guys we'll put the um the link to their 
um, their website and stuff in the uh, in the description and um, check it come up visit them